Hey, what's happening, MissionHollywood.com viewers and fans? We are here with the ever so talented Mr. William Wedig, co-writer with, uh, with his man Manny Perez, and the amazing director of the killer film, Forged. You killed my mother. And I'm gonna kill you. How do you feel about your stay here in the prison? I'm excited to go outside and rebuild my life. Welcome back to the world, Chuko. Chuko! Hey, Zeus! Dad! You can't make right what's wrong. What if I could? What's happening, Will? How's it going, man? Good, man. Great so to be here. Dude, we had, uh, we had the privilege of checking out your movie, and I have to say, man, it was hot. It was hot <laughs> well, well, thank you, thank you. I mean, we put, we put a lot of hard work and love into that thing, and, and you know, to have this kind of response is, is just really ridiculous. So, understanding, y'all originally going to, y'all planning on doing this, you wanted to do it, I guess, originally in Texas, and yeah. then decided to go up north. Yeah, um, we just, as we were working on the script, and, and you know, it was all set to be this like desert kind of movie, and then as we were working on the script, it just seemed like as we got more extreme, as it got more oppressive, as it, as it just got darker and darker of a, of a film, it just made more sense to put it in 18 inches of snow, you know, it was the coldest winter in 50 years. We didn't know that as we were shooting, but, you know, it was eight degrees the first day we shot, and... Um, I mean, I really think the uh, the important thing for me as a director was to kind of make that a character in the film. You know, another character was that world to create a place to, to feel that world. You know, there was so much. I guess so much was added there. You know, as far as you know, with the cold factor. Mm -hmm. and I can only imagine when y'all were shooting that trailer. Oh my Jesus God! Christ. Yeah, that that trailer was ridiculous because it was literally falling apart as we were shooting. Um, and there were times where it was like I, I walked across the set one time and I stepped and literally the floor the floor broke out. And it was like, okay, everybody, don't step there. We put a, a road, uh, orange road cone there, and um, but but you know the thing was, I think in that environment, all the care, all the actors, all the crew, everyone just really came out to make a good movie. You know, I mean, everybody was just trying to do something special. You know, and and in the end of the day, I mean, I feel like we did, and and audiences are are responding. You know, amazingly. So the young cast. Where did y'all find the young cast with the son? Oh, uh, David Castro. He was. Uh, He's amazing. He's 14 years old. He was 12 years old when we shot, and uh, he's he's fantastic. Um, that was actually a, he was a friend of Manny's. Um, uh, he's also a really talented dancer, and uh, I mean, he just knocks this movie out of the park. Like you feel his intensity the whole the whole way through. You Even know, it's just you know a slight bit the subtleness. Exactly. The was just absolutely exactly. Amazing. No, and he's he's like I mean that character is so damaged. You know, it's so such a he's like a he's like a damaged bird or something with a broken wing, and so you're really you know, to, to direct that that character, you know, on his sort of journey, because he goes through a pretty big switch and a big change, and, and he's filled with so much rage. Um, you know, to have an actor like that who can kind of bring it to life and turn it into something special yeah, is amazing. Great, and for what the kid had to place himself from what he had gone through as a child and for what he is currently going through mm -hmm. as a young man, yep. and continue to just to keep himself alive on the street. Exactly, like, exactly. Wow. And, and I mean, he is dealing with, with what is a, a completely unforgivable sin caused against him from his father. So, it, so you know, it's, it's for him to be able to bring that level of intensity and that level of professionalism and, and maturity to that kind of role is, is, I mean, we were so lucky to get him and, and he just really shines in this movie. It's ridiculous. Yeah, he's amazing. But, but, you know, I mean, I can't, there's a lot of the stuff in that movie that I can't take credit for because it was really that, that, environment we were shooting in, what, what, what our cinematographer Zeus brought in, what the cast brought in, I mean all of that, all of that work it was really a collaborative effort like from every, every realm that you could possibly think that ideas would come for or you know uh, uh, everyone was just trying to make a good movie and, and when you're shooting for no money, when you're in those kind of harsh environments all you can hope for is that everyone's there because they want to be, because they love the film and they, and they know it's special you know and, and Something magical happened in there. I mean, Scranton, Scranton pulled, pulled the magic out for us Dude, or something. Tell you what, Scranton was just the foundation. You guys, <laughs> you guys pulled the magic out, man. Well, thank you and very it much. Showed, man. You guys have got to see this. I'm telling you. <laughs>
fours. Remember it? Remember the name, a man right here. William Weddick, I'm telling you, killer. Man. Yeah, and go to uh, forgedmovie.com. It's www.forgedmovie.com to uh, check out more. And join our Facebook group, too. Man, amazing job, Will. Awesome. And we're going to be Thanks seeing so more much. of this man soon, I'm telling you. Cool. The Thanks, William Weddick. Y'all be cool. MissionHollywood.com viewers, stay tuned, stay logged in. Coming at ya. 14th Annual, La Leaf. Bow! <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, Thanks man, so you much. got it, brother.